All right, so you guys know whose room I'm in, baby girl's room, Kara. So we got piles, you see that pile over there of clothes and they're clean on the floor, hamper, right? Toys, games, the weighted blanket I bought from Aldi's, right? Girl, we still got the reindeers and all the stuff on the bed from Christmas. She got the gingerbread pajamas there on the end. It's a whole thing going on. The dresser is a mess. So here go the bookshelf. We remember we did this. That's still kind of intact, right? Can barely open the door because all this is going on. So we need to get to that. This is probably where I'm going to focus. Yes. This is probably where I'm going to focus, right? Clothes she can't fit. Games all over the floor in here. I need to go through it. Maybe give some things away. You know what I mean? Um, I will hope that she doesn't miss it if I do. <laughs> um, because, you know, she's not playing with them. Clothes are hanging that she can't even fit anymore. So definitely got to get into that. And... I think, let me see, girl, oh my goodness, I just got mad anxiety. <laughs> let me get in here and get some things done. Oh my goodness. I don't know how, oh how you do it. You blow my mind without a word. Oh, stuck upside down, I might be dreaming. There's no way back now. With you all night long Diving, babe, you know we can't stop this Come on, show me what you got Cause So I got the big old trash bag and decided to sit my happy butt on the floor, right? And just start folding and separating everything. I'm kind of trying to see what's too small for her. And you'll see me throw some things behind me, some sweatsuits and, um, you know, like hoodies and things, kind of putting them in a pile, a couple sweaters, you know, so just trying to organize it because that whole mess was... It was too much and the clothes had ended up on the floor and they were clean clothes like I was telling you earlier so mm -mm, I had to it was just it was too much So I'm kind of getting down to the last little bit of this pile and I found some duplicates, right? <laughs> like some tights. I found stuff in there that belonged to me. I put those to the side. So I got the big old trash bag here that I've been filling up, right? So I'm going to just slide that over, get everything in there, and then make my way over to the chest over here and get in there. Kara does try to help, but her occupational skills with things like folding, putting things on hangers, she's still working on. So, you know, mommy helps out.
So this is Kara's t-shirt drawer, her spring, summer, right? So a lot of these t-shirts don't fit her anymore. The last time she had them on, they were getting a little bit snug. So they're going to go in the bag. The rest, I'm going to fold up nice and neat and put them back in here. There are a couple long sleeve um, ones in here that I need to relocate because this is the short sleeve drawer. So, um, and the majority of these t-shirts, 99% came from Walmart. I love the cute sayings that they have on them. They're just fitting. And, um, me and Kara, we kind of wear the same size. So that's why I keep finding a lot of my stuff in here because she goes in my closet and like, we'll get some of my things, which I don't mind. So now over to the closet, the first thing you're going to see is it's a Philly thing, right? For the Eagles, the Super Bowl, so excited about it. We got a couple Eagles things in here, um, but then I got a lot of t-shirts in here, which shouldn't be. The t-shirts get folded, so I don't know why they're on hangers. I'm not sure, but um, I'm going to take these down, get rid of the ones that don't fit, put them in the bag, and then... Uh, fold, you know, the ones that are still okay and put them in the drawer. So here we go over here with the stuffed animals. Oh my goodness. I forgot how many it was in here. I have not been to this corner of the closet since we moved in. So I'm pulling out one bag, then I pulled out another bag, and they were big trash bags full of stuffed animals. I even still had the little tape things that you put when you're moving, like bedroom, living room, bedroom one, bedroom two, right? It was still on the bag. So I was like, what is happening? So some of those were mine. I took those. Some were just ripped up, stuffing, hanging out. They went in the trash. And then these I kind of just went through and I'm going to end up putting some in her big giant flower. You'll see what I'm talking about. Um, but look at all that stuff that was in that little bit of space. But... <laughs> I came over to the bookcase and I just wanted to get over here a little bit organized. It wasn't crazy, but I just wanted to get those things off of the floor. Her bag that she carries to Walmart, that white one with the big old face on it, right? That the bestie gave her. Um, but yeah, so girl, those stuffed animals. Oh my goodness. Are you Like a drug, I am hooked on you Sweeter than summer wine Baby, just hold me tight Like a drug, I am hooked on you And that makes me say Oh man, you make you feel like paradise God damn, I think I'm gonna lose my mind Oh man, you make you feel like paradise So hubby decided to pop in <laughs> That's who I'm talking to. He asking me, what are you doing all this time? And I'm throwing up the hands like, well, I got to do this, you know, all of this stuff. But look what I found. And it was the Star Trek, um, like Spock and Captain Kirk, stuff animals. It was so stinking cute, even the Borg. But um, yeah, so I said, let me get in the closet. I felt like Joey Tribbiani from Friends. Remember when they went to see Monica get married and he was like touring the city and he had to step in the map? <laughs> well, I had to get in the closet. Oh, my goodness. So to see what the hell I was doing. But yeah, I'm really satisfied about how the closet ended up but you see the hands on the hips like well what is going to happen now you know so now here she come at the last you know I'm asking her where she want the hamper at she telling me put it in the closet you know what I mean so now her iPad must have died so now she looking for mine <laughs> right stepping over the stuff instead of helping grabbed the iPad and was out the door girl this is your room 
Oh my goodness. But you know what? I can kind of get through it a little quicker if I'm in there by myself. So over here now, back to the chest, everything was folded earlier. I think I want to put you know, like the jeans and stuff at the bottom, then the sweatpants, and then so forth and so forth with the um, hoodies and the, sh the t-shirts, the long sleeves and everything. So, yes. So here's that big old flower I was talking about earlier. It's like a big, not a bean bag, but kinda I put all the stuffed animals in there so now you know you could lay on it but look at all of my faces all of my emoji pillows how stinking cute oh they go pop a smurf yes I knew I had it and I didn't know where it was so yeah I'm tossing some stuff look I'm cracking up yes I'm tossing some stuff keeping some stuff so yeah but this was the big flower I was talking about look I'm evil So finally made it over here to the dresser. Not too bad, just some puzzles and things, a couple toy phones and stuff like that. I'll put that away. And then it's some bathing suits. Girl, it's February. <laughs> but it's bathing suits over there on the end of the dresser. I'll put those away. So I had these and I split them up between the two girls. Kara got some and Sydney got some. I just put them in a Dollar Tree vase. So pretty, but girl, this is the pajama drawer. I could barely open it. I wasn't even gonna go through it with you. I just showed you the before and the after. I feel so much better now. So everything came out good. That chest, nice. These things right here, the summer t-shirts and the shorts, she's not gonna be, she shouldn't even have to come over here until it starts getting a little warmer. But the closet turned out really good. I'm able to put the hamper back where she wanted. The other side has, you know, like her um, sports gear and some other things that needed to be hung, but I'm loving it. So here is her comforter and weighted blanket I grabbed from Aldi's. I'm going to wash those up so I can put them back on the bed and get those reindeers off. And this is everything that's going to be donated from her room. Um, I already called and the charity is going to be um, the American Red Cross this time. That's what I picked this time. So, girl, the sock drawer. Oh, my goodness. This system right here. It wasn't working anymore. You couldn't even see the bins. She had socks on top of socks. It was a mess. A lot of them had holes. A lot of them didn't have matches. It was a whole thing. It's so many socks in this drawer. Oh my goodness. But I went through them all and I decided to use that sock organizer that I have in my drawers and it works really good for me, right? I got her the white one and Sydney wanted the black one and it's just so convenient. So I'm hoping that she will follow my lead and just be organized with the socks because girl, I can't, it's too, it was too much.
So how neat is this, right? So I'm able to put about two pair in each cubby. Um, and I'm hoping she can maintain this. I love mine. And these socks right here, girl, they all don't have matches. I know she threw them in the trash. I know she did. <laughs> and these over here are kind of like the holiday ones. So I can put them away with like the holiday clothes. And then there's a pile of socks that are mine that um, she took from my drawer and I'll put them back. So look at this. I love it. I hope you guys enjoyed this decluttering and just getting rid of some stuff. It gave you a little bit of motivation, but we are going to get out of the bedrooms and start getting into some grimy stuff, right? All right, you guys, I'm gonna go. I'll see you soon. Bye.